Hello beautiful people and welcome to April 2020. This is your angelic guidance with me, Julie Bull. For those of you who don't know me, I'm an intuitive channel, a hypnotherapist, healer, psychic and intuitive. Did I say intuitive already? Probably did. Anyway, this is for your sun, your moon, your rising, your Venus and you can also watch it for cross-watching. I am taking private readings. If any of you would like to book in, the link is below. And if this reading resonates, drop a comment below saying I claim this reading. It helps you to align with it. And of course, don't forget to subscribe, click that little bell so you don't miss a thing. And there is an extended version of this reading if you would like to purchase it. The link is below for that too. It's in the comments as well, so that hopefully you can find it reasonably easily. So, happy Astrological New Year. Welcome to April. Grab yourself a tea, a coffee, join me, Judy, on the sofa. Let's see what we've got going on for April 2020. Hello beautiful Cancer and welcome. Yeah, all right, you're joining us for five minutes. You say hello to Cancer. Yeah, all right, settle down. All right, Cancer. I should warn you all these messages are being very, very similar. Uh, so let's see, what's the main energy for Cancer, please, for April? What I'm finding, my darlings, is that generally these messages are more for the collective Page of Swords, but each sign has got different slightly different advice on how to manage life at the moment page of wands you've got two pages here sorry page of coins you've got two pages here see that's you distracting me yeah and you've got the nine of coins i'm going to stop there for a moment so cancer we're in this time of extreme change and there's a lot of concern around but you've got some really positive cards here my lovely so Good to know. All right. So the two pages, page of swords, communication, something coming through, some new information coming through that feels a bit of a surprise and it is relating to money. Now, many of you um, are going through some significant concerns about money and security. I know that. So is most of uh, the planet at the moment. However, these are quite strong for you. All right. So new information, new communication coming through for you with that page of swords relating to money with another page here. Some more information coming through about money. Now, Many of you are incredibly creative and coming up with some fabulous new ideas on how to be able to provide for yourself, sustain yourself, look after yourself. Because that nine of pentacles is about independence, financially being in the flow, having enough and it being okay. This is really good because it's the first one of um, the four readings I've done so far where there's been some financial security showing up, which is good. All right, tell me more for my cancers, please. Sorry, I've been doing so many readings, <clears throat> I'm a little bit croaky. You've got judgment, that's come out a few times, not surprised to see that. This is a rebirth, a massive shift. This is the tower times a thousand. This is the tower with bells on, we're going through a huge shift. But out of this shift, we're coming into a cleansing, a clearing, a purging, a fresh beginning. You've got the Seven of Swords, absolutely, these are going together because this rebirth, this rising up, this letting go of what was that absolutely didn't serve us or the planet that is shifting forward into a different time a different space is enabling you to leave behind with that seven of swords what you wanted to get away from but didn't know how all right this the seven of swords can often be a bit of sneaky energy i prefer to use the word discreet you know discreetly disappearing quietly going so for so um, yeah for some of you for example you may have been sent home to um you know unpaid um wait and see what happens you know over the coming months and you're deciding i'm not going back I'm not going back. I'm going to come up with something new. I'm going to come up with a new plan. That 
business I've always wanted to start. I'm going to start that when this is all over. I'm not going back to that job. I've hated it for ages. There is a shifting forward here in a very positive way into something new. And yes, there's delays. Not for all of you, they're telling me. Okay, that's interesting. Tell me more. All right, so at times of crisis, it brings out the worst and the best in people. At the times in crisis, this is where the best innovations, the best inventions, the best new ideas come forward out of a time of change. And many of you, um, you know, I'm just feeling this creative energy of you coming up with a new idea, a new plan. This could be something you thought of before but didn't take forward. And now it feels the right time to take it forward. It feels really positive. I want one more. Give me a bit more for my cancers, please, and then we're going to move on to some other decks. Tell me a little bit more for my cancers. Okay, Three of Cups. Again, another positive card. Okay, so the Three of Cups, this is all about celebration. Um, there is some good news going on here. Um, all right, can you tell me a little bit more? You're finding different ways to do things. You're working around restrictions. You're finding ways to uh, go round it, over it, under it. You're finding ways to be able to surge forward, to be able to provide. This is fabulous. Tell me more, please. Let's have some cards from the Wisdom of the Oracle. Tell me more for my cancers, please. Thank you so much. Make it plain. I want both of those to be... <laughs> we've got chaos and conflict and TikTok. these cards have come out a few times um now we know there is massive chaos and conflict at the moment we know there is huge shifting and changing forward the clock is saying this is time limited it's not going to go on forever but this chaos is needed in order to bring about balance you see with this card you've got this zebra zebras black and white you know yin and yang we're needing to bring the polarities in okay this is to do with extreme wealth extreme poverty this is to do with extreme power and extreme disempower this is bringing it back into a level level playing field that needs to happen and you are going to benefit from this you may not see this at the moment this is where the benefit of hindsight uh, which they're talking about a lot at the moment upstairs they're saying if you could see what we could see and where you'll be in, further down the line from this for some of you six months for some of you two or three years you will look back on this time and say that chaos was the best thing that ever happened although at the time it felt a bit scary hairy so trusting that there is divine timing in this and the time is serving you in some way can you tell me a bit more please tell me a little bit more about the timing no we can't have all of those tell me clear about this timing okay be poised the, the poised card is about being ready so that when the time is right you're ready okay this is really significant this use this time where the world's basically on pause all right this crazy world we live in is on pause so we can all take our breath catch up with ourselves rebalance reprioritize restructure and then we are poised for takeoff into something much much better so use this time to prepare now for some of you you're reconnecting with yourself in a way you haven't done in like forever um, others are reconnecting with rest and sleep because you've overworked for years and years and years there is a Mm. there's a healing taking place not just within the planet not just within the pollution within the environment that's cleansing and clearing and recharging and rebooting but within you as well cancer so any of you that have still got any hangovers from the past you're clearing you're using this time to clear you are 
clearing away limitations and restrictions and even though we're in a time of what we'd say incredible restrictions most of us can't go out we can't get on with our normal lives and we see those restrictions but actually what it's doing is giving you the time to get rid of internal restrictions so some of you could be doing meditations healings online therapy online courses reading um in terms of reading um, developmental books, um, personal development, spiritual development, psychological development, understanding yourself more, learning more about you. And all of this is preparing you to be poised for takeoff when the time is right. How lovely. Where do you want me to go now? We want an answer is simple. And then I'm going to the Angels of Atlantis cards. Tell me for Cancer, please, for April. Cancer for April, thank you so much. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up, you see. I had the same thing with Gemini. I told them something and then the exact card came out straight after. We were just saying there, I say we, me and the angels, are just saying there that this use this time of pause to heal clean clean up your mess this says okay clean up your mess so um this is partly for the collective clean up your mess we we have collectively made a bit of a mess of the planet and a bit of a mess of uh, the economy with it being f hugely out of balance so it's our mess and we need to take responsibility for it and this crisis is cleaning up that mess and so we can look at that on the outside externally around us and be very aware of it but this is also to take responsibility internally and say what part of my own mess do I need to clean up um, so any um, behaviors patterns limitations negative thinking um, some of you I'm just hearing the words I'm sorry so um, for some of you who have perhaps distanced themselves from family friends push people away um, that because of this situation that we currently all find ourselves in you're reprioritizing and looking at things differently and allowing yourself to reconnect with um, some people that uh, have left your life bringing them back in and um, whatever this means for you it's going to mean that different things for different people but this is our opportunity collectively but particularly this is a message for you cancer about really taking responsibility of cleaning up what no longer serves you so that you're ready to move forward clean all right let's see what the angels of atlantis want to add for you and then i think we are done tell me what you want to say and you want that one for cancer this one came out also for um gemini okay security obviously with this chaos and conflict the crazy time that we are currently in many many of you are feeling very very insecure about your current situation and your future all right so what they want you to do is let go of anything to do with the future the future at the moment is uncertain and unknown and we'll find out more when we get there but for now i'm just hearing yeah are we there yet are we there yet and it's like shut up no we're not um so you are focus on your security today this is the way through this situation if you start worrying about next week next month three months you you're going to get in a tiz in a pickle so focus on today where are you today you've got somewhere to live yeah you've got food in the fridge yep yeah. you've got your health you're still alive you're okay yep yeah. okay bring that security into today and allow tomorrow to take care of itself that's the advice coming through from the angelic realms this security with archangel zadkiel and see the hands reaching out all right touching that's saying the angels are with you they've got you they'll catch you all right they may not catch you in the way you think you should be caught all right which for many of us is put my life back together exactly as it was please thank you very much and the whole point of this is that it doesn't go back exactly as it was because for most of us it didn't actually work very well okay 
So this has given us an opportunity to try something new, be something new, do it in a different way. But we are still safe, we are still secure. So know that you are loved and supported. The angels are with you, you are not alone, and that you will get through this. And these cards have all the readings I've done so far. This is by far the most positive. So Cancer, you've got this. All right, my darlings. I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to move into the extended where I'm going to go into this in more detail. If you'd like to join me there, the link is below. And if not, that's absolutely fine, my darlings. I will see you next time. Look out for some live shows, some live talks that I will be doing over the coming weeks. And um, I look forward to seeing you soon. Take care, Cancer. Lots of love. My heart to yours. Bye-bye.